Hello, my name is Arthur and I'm the founder and CEO of Somnium Space and today I would love to share with you the latest update about our Somnium VR1 headset. I know you've been waiting for a long time for this one. Yes, I've been waiting for that as well. Uh, we've been working really hard since CS in January 2023 to be where we are today and I would love to go through you know, all the updates we have and all the goodness we have prepared for you about the headset. Now, probably if you're watching this video, somewhere around this video, around this post, there is a link to our Medium article. I encourage you to find it because in this video, I'll just show you and go through some main points. But in the article, you'll have all the detailed information we have for you prepared. So search for that article, read it, and definitely comment somewhere below or up, I don't know, somewhere there. Let's get started. So in the past few months, we've been working hard to update the VR1 to enhance the structural integrity, the optics, the, uh, you know, to decrease the weight, improve the fit of anchor points. And of course, we took it from, let's say, prototype pre-production uh, design, which you've seen on CS, to actually fully production ready design. So all of those aspects we have put to, um, to this update. So in the post, you'll be able to see the actual final design of VR1. Probably we'll slap it somewhere on this screen right now. You'll be able to see it. And uh, yeah, let's go you know, point by point and uh, let's try to, to discuss what's, uh, what's going to happen. And let's right away start with an optics because optics is something which took us the longest time to nail down to work on and something we're really proud of because with our special dual spheric lens setup per eye, we've been able to achieve quite, quite a significant improvement on the field of view. So what I can tell right now is that you are getting more than 125 degrees horizontally and 100 degrees vertically field of view, depending on your IPD it may, might differ slightly. But for example, for myself, and you'll see it in the blog post, I have posted a picture right after I made measurement of uh, my, you know, my IPD on our VR1 headset. I got personally 128 degrees horizontally and 102 degrees vertically. Again, it might differ, but that's, these are the numbers. You're definitely getting more than 120 degrees horizontally with a real field of view and more than 100 degrees vertically, which is pretty significant at the current you know, VR space, VR headsets. Talking about IPD, so our IPD adjustment ranges between 60 and 76 millimeters, which, you know, it's pretty significant. And especially I know many people came to us and they said, what about the IPD? And I know many people want to have a higher range of IPD, especially on that upper part, on the upper scale. And yes, I'm very, very happy to say that we have achieved like 16 millimeters of adjustment, which is very nice and comfortable for many people. So yeah, our IPD is from 60 to 76 millimeters. Now the screen is another amazing part about Somnium VR1 because it's a really great screen and we have been working on the software and on the hardware side, especially on the connection side to the, to the, to the main board, to enhance and upgrade the, the brightness and enhance the refresh rate. So, you know, with our resolution of 2880 by 2880, we are achieving a 35 PPD with our lenses and our screen and the brightness is run about 200, 210 nits which is amazing given that, for example, Valve Index has around 100, if I'm not mistaken. And we do have local dimming and the refresh rates we're able to achieve are 90 and 120 hertz, possibly 144 hertz, but that's currently in a testing mode. But I'm positive that we'll be able to achieve even that. So the screen is great and the combination of the screen and our optics, it's what makes VR1 very special and almost unparalleled and unmatched visuals, at least from my side and from what our uh, early testers, you know, in the office and friends are reporting to us. Another very important part of any modern VR headset, to be honest, uh, are the pass-through cameras. And Somnium VR1 offers a true stereoscopic pass-through cameras with a very high resolution. And we have reported that already on, uh, on CS and people have tried it. But what has changed since then is that we were able to upgrade the optics and the hardware of the cameras to achieve even better resolution and better quality of image. So, you know, this is something we're really proud of and the pass-through will definitely be one of the best if not the best consumer VR headset pass-through which is available today. 
And on top of that, we've been able to allow a, an external LiDAR connection to our headsets through the upper anchor point of the headset. So you'll be able to utilize the LiDAR plus our pass-through cameras for some amazing use cases. And you can see some kind of a showcase which I did and posted on in this blog post. And yes, pass-through is very important and we're happy to say that Somni VR1 will have one of the best ones on the market. Another interesting part and important part about the VR1 headset is eye tracking. Of course, we have developed our own in-house eye tracking system and also we work with the Czech Academy of Science to create the special IR reflective glass inserts for our lenses so that the cameras can uh, see the reflection of the eyes and then perform the algorithm for the eye tracking. So that's rather complex but quite an interesting and uh, well-working system and it will be, of course, included in this new VR1 headset. There are many other updates which are included in the article and I think notable ones are weight, face mask and the cables. Now, in terms of the weight, because our headset will have different variants which you'll be able to order, it will vary approximately from 650 grams to 850 grams. So we're kind of somewhere around valve index, slightly lower on, on a basic variant and then slightly higher on the fully loaded variant with, you know, with the pass-through, hand tracking and eye tracking. We are working hard on our face interface. The face mask, you know, it's something we really want to make sure it works well it needs to be designed for for the comfort for the long use I myself use headsets and VR daily for two plus hours so I know how important the ergonomics is and we're trying to make sure that it will be as comfortable as possible and also the materials we try to use should feel very comfortable to your face Another thing which many people ask us for is the adjustable diopter. We do that through magnetically attachable lenses and you will find those magnets if you look at the, um, at the images of the headset I mean, the article. We, we do it through, through the magnets around the lenses. We of course will release the comprehensive 3D blueprint of the whole headset. So companies will work with those companies, but companies can take and prepare those uh, adjustable lenses for them by themselves, diopters, and they will be able to sell them. So that's how we cover that. At, uh, that point. Now the cable for our headset it has been specially developed and it's a custom-made cable which has an incredible throughput but also we made a decision to make it detachable. So it is it is fixed with one screw so you can plug it in, you can screw it in, you don't need to, you can screw it in to make it very robust but if you want to change it in the future for example when there will be a wireless model and you would you know, you don't want to have your six meter cable, which we provide you in the box, to have around your uh, your waist. Um, you'll just unplug this one and then plug a, you know, shorter one, screw it in, and then you'll be able to connect it to the wireless model on the way. So cable is something, something straightforward, but it's something really interesting, and important, and we made sure that it works really well and it supports all the, uh, all the throughput we need for this high resolution, in a, you know, it's native resolution from the PC VR. One of the most important parts of this update is production. And I'm happy to say that we have started the checks of our production facility. But not only that, the whole production facility is located in Czech Republic in European Union. So Somnium VR1 headset has been engineered, designed and will be produced fully in European Union in Czech Republic. And you know, I'm very, very proud about that. This is something significant for us because it will allow us to have a better quality control and just a better control of the production. It's literally one and a half hours by car from where I'm sitting right now from our office in Prague. And I'll be able to be there all the time. And trust me, I will be there all the time. I'll probably manually assemble some of your headsets. So um, if you want to complain to someone, that will be me. Without, you know, jokes aside, this is significant and uh, we're really proud about that. You can read more information on blog posts and uh, we cannot wait to start full-scale production this year. Another very important part of this update is about configurator. So we will allow you to configure your headset with add-ons you want and need. Why did we decide to do so? It's because after CS we've been reading and listening to a lot of comments and a lot of asks from people and from users saying, hey, allow me to use and buy on the things I want to use. For example, some people will definitely want to have pass-through cameras, uh, but they don't need to have eye tracking or vice versa. They'll maybe don't need the hand tracking, but they 
they'll need eye tracking without the pass-through. All of that will be possible, so you'll be able to buy the headset the way you want to have it. And the price will differ because of that. And we have made sure that the production and the, the electronics inside can facilitate that. So yes, you'll be able to configure your headset the way you want. Every, anywhere from just the headset with the great lenses and great screens to everything, including pass-through, eye tracking, hand tracking, and just the, the beautiful visuals. So yes, Somnium Space a VR1 headset will be configurable and you will be able to decide what you wanna buy. Thank you for watching this development update. More information you can find in the link to the Medium article in our blog post. I know you're all eagerly waiting for the information. When will be first deliveries? What is the exact price? We're still keeping it for ourselves, but I can say that the first deliveries were aiming to start in 2023. And regarding the pricing, I think you will not be disappointed, but you have to wait a little bit and see. So thank you very much. And we'll be back with more updates soon. And from now on, we'll start updating probably on a monthly basis. Thanks and have fun.